मैं अपने लास्ट स्पीकर को बुलाऊंगी और आ, हमारे बीच इंट्रोडक्शन उनका आ, मैं क्या करवाऊँ सलीमा हाशमी मौजूद हैं और आ, आज वो सिंध के आर्ट पे बात करेंगी तो आ, हम सब जानते हैं कि सलीमा हाशमी एन सी ए की प्रिंसिपल रही हैं और प्रोफेसर हैं और बीकन नेशनल यूनिवर्सिटी में फाउंडिंग डीन रही हैं उसके अलावा उनको ऑनररी डिग्री डॉक्टरेट की मिली हुई है और एक्सटेंसिवली उन्होंने अपना आर्ट के ऊपर जो काम किया है आर्ट पे लिखा है उसकी बात की जाए तो वो बहुत एक्सटेंसिव है उसके अलावा जो वमेन मूवमेंट है एटीज़ की उसमें उनका बहुत कंट्रीब्यूशन है और हमारे लिए एक आइकॉन है आर्ट का तो सलीमा हाशमी सामकुम पहले मेरा कुछ ख्याल था कुछ और कहने सुनने का अब थोड़ा सा बदल गया क्योंकि रियली कदूस ने जो कहा था वो बिल्कुल सही कहा था कि आज कुछ इतना कुछ सुनने को देखने को समझने को मिला है कि इतना बहुत बहुत कुछ सीखा भी है आई रियली फील के जो मेरा थोड़ा सा अंदाज़ा था वो मुझे थोड़ा ब्रीफ करना चाहिए मुख्तर करना चाहिए और मेरा ज़्यादा मेरा दिल चाह रहा है कि मैं कुछ सवाल उठाऊँ बिकॉज आई थिंक we have lost the capacity to ask questions so i really want to just go through very quickly certain images but also um i want to raise certain questions and they were part of a essay that i wrote quite a long time ago uh, it was published um in india in the mark uh, um, book on sin and um some of those questions are still i, I was going over to some of the questions are still relevant today so i'll just read a little portion of that and then talk very briefly about some of the images and if i can have the first image i hope i'm going to say it to put it in the right order yeah okay um so i'm just going to read a little and then fill badi the cultural fabric of sindh altered irrevocably with independence and the partition of india in 1947 karachi a placid seaport with limited aspirations to prominence to prominence was catapulted into the limelight as the capital city of the new nation of pakistan as hundreds and thousands made their way across the subcontinent from bombay and gujarat and bihar and the united provinces thousands of families fanned out simultaneously into smaller towns hyderabad and sakhar and meerpur and nawabshah and shikarpur and they were took over the homes and properties abandoned by the refugees and they changed the socio political and cultural environments creating well creating conflicts and transformations which continue to resonate and challenge sindhi society today the impact of this cultural cocktail on the visual arts is reflected on the parallel streams that continue to coexist um just showing you an image of you know karachi as it was and how the thousands came here in all kinds of ways so the intrusion into um unfamiliar patterns of patronage and pictorial tastes and configurations created a sense of alienation to those who bore the brunt 
of the arrivals. And it corresponded to the bewilderment and pain of those arriving. So, you know, the craft, um, the many layered um, spread today of contemporary art of Sindh is patched together like a relay. And um, so before independence, the fine arts in um, the place that we call, you know, Sindh, was really consisted of a wide range of visual expression. So it, it was, this was part of it. And there was no difference between fine art and what we call craft. It was visual culture. That came, you know, with the British who decided certain things are craft and the other things are art. And um, so there's a downgrading of this and an upgrading of something else. Um, and this is no longer center stage, if you like. You know, it's like that, yes, it is but it is not as much as it is. visual culture, mein, or I've learned so much today from your discussion, visual culture, mein, this is what you consider the art that you live by. Um, and then you, you think of this, the civilizations and the cultures that produce this. Um, and this was kind of, it's not that the fine arts were absent. I mean, that image over there is from the Nawab of Kherpur's collection. And this is from the, you know, Lahore New School of Arts. The British had set up these schools, you know, in the major cities. Uh, of course not in Karachi. But that, that, uh, that vacuum was not felt. So when 47, Karachi suddenly becomes the capital and becomes the hub and so on, you have people who come and they think they're coming to a new country or usme wo art jo hai paida karenge to unko bahut disappointment hui kyunki unki nazar mein jo art tha wo karachi shehar mein nahi ho raha tha unke hisab se so you have people extremely eminent people like the rahimans atiya fazi and her husband very accomplished painter and they come to Karachi or unko lagta hai hum kahan pe behaban mein a gaye because jis cheez ko wo cultural activity samajhte the wo unhone yahan pe nahi payi aur uske baraks lahore lahore mein shakir ali jo pehle karachi aaye the west se wo is khayal se aaye the ki hum ek naye mulk mein aaye hain hum ek naya kisam ka art paida karenge तो दो ये किस्म की मुत्तजाद हालात थे जो के कराची और लाहौर के दरमियान थे और आप ये सोचें कराची यूनिवर्सिटी बनाई गई और उसमें कोई फाइन आर्ट डिपार्टमेंट नहीं था ना सिर्फ ये के फाइन आर्ट डिपार्टमेंट नहीं था उन्होंने 40 साल फाइन आर्ट डिपार्टमेंट नहीं बनने दिया They've come to a country and they are making a new society and they exclude fine arts. I say this because I was witness to arguments with somebody like my father or Begum Majid Malik, educationists, they tried their best with Karachi University. Unki syndicate ke saath, unki vice chancellor ke saath, ladaiya, behsm vahase. वो कहते थे जी फाइन आर्ट्स नो सॉरी ये गैर इस्लामी फेल है ये कराची यूनिवर्सिटी में नहीं होगा द बिगेस्ट सिटी यू नो प्रीटी सून एंड फाइन आर्ट्स इज रेलिगेटेड जामशोरों में पहले शुरू हुआ सिंध यूनिवर्सिटी वाज नॉट एंटेगोनिस्टिक नेचुरली इट वाज नॉट एंटेगोनिस्टिक बिकॉज़ आर्ट 
was very much part of the fabric of society. Which is why I'm quite upset today that Jamshoro has students' work is not here. I'm upset. They should have been here and they should have been leading the emerging artists. And instead, they are absent. I think we need to think about this conversation as to why they are absent when you have all the art schools of Karachi. I have to say that the government has been very bad Karachi University, the art department. It's not the fine art, it's not the fine art. It was an objection. Visual arts and architecture, as though the design is Muslim or fine arts is غیر Muslim. I think this has to be looked at. It was only when Professor Zaidi became the Vice Chancellor that he fought for this department because his own daughter was, you know, a designer who'd studied at NCA and then at, uh, in, uh, in America. So, I want to draw your attention to the fact that Karachi, which should have been the, the hub of artistic endeavor, it had all the industrial support. It was left to the private sector to come together and to start the schools, the Karachi School of Art, the Central School of Arts and Crafts, or Usme Ali Imam Kobi, he was a principal, and uh, then the, later the Indus Valley School of Art and Architecture came about. It was private citizens who took the plunge and decided to set up these departments. I think we need to examine this history of the absence of government support in the biggest city of Pakistan for the fine art, which is why I'm so happy today to see this um, gallery. And when I look back at somebody like Shakir Ali, who is my teacher, pehle Karachi aaye the padhane ke liye. Inko yahan naukri mili thi. Magar unne kaha ki mujhe jo unhone mere zati taur pe bataya tha ki inki class mein bache shor majate the. I suppose maza le rahe hote honge. So the principal told them, the headmaster told them that you are a child of a child, you are a child of a child. So Shakir Ali said, I have given him a gift and I am going to go to Lahore. And that is where new modernism starts. In Lahore, Mayo School of Arts gets transformed into NCA. Punjab University was the first time in the Fine Arts Department in 1940. So that was the exodus in 1947, when thousands of people in Lahore, bright sparks, the artists, the writers, the theater people, the musicians, they left for India. So it took a little while. People think that we talk about 75 years of art in Pakistan. Oh, brother, there was no drop in 1947. There was no doubt that everything was the same as before. You said that this is not our part. And you said that today, the curtain is lifted up, and the curtain will be the same as the Pakistani art will be the same as the Pakistani art. It doesn't work that way. Anybody will tell you that. We inherited thousands of years of history. We were civilized, as we know, from the Indus Valley civilization. That was a democratic society. It was a democratic society. We have not found, uh, we have not found any temples. We haven't found any palaces. We have found ordinary citizens' workplaces. We have found sanitation. We have found such a highly evolved society. That was who we were. Why did we want to exclude it in 1947? And why should we? And therefore, the journeys of art in Sindh had to embrace willy-nilly what was there before. So when people like Shakir decided, OK, this is going to be the new art, very soon there was a realization that there were other influences. 
Prime Minister Sohrawardi, who was Bengali, he decided to give a young man a chance, the chance to have work and the chance to travel to Paris and to travel and to, to, to absorb all of that. We must remember that no other Prime Minister until Zulfikar Ali Bhutto, no other Prime Minister was supportive of art. Yeah, Yes, we've had dictators like uh, Ayub Khan who were helped by very smart bureaucrats who realized that you have to you have to have a soft image. So they promoted art, they promoted literature, um, they started things like the uh, Writers Guild. Take in ko ram karo, kyunke isse hamari jo hai, vukat barti hai, dunya mein hum jane jate hain, ki hum bade civilized log hain. Um, but it is people who were making public art, and Sadikan was given this chance by Soravardi, who was unfortunately Prime Minister for a very short time, um, to do public commissions, State Bank of Pakistan, PIA, Mangla Dam, where he worked, and that I saw as a young student myself. So suddenly, you did have something going on in the public domain, which was happening not just in Karachi, but other places in Pakistan also. And then you have the homegrown Ismail Gulji, um, whose work, though he was an engineer by profession, but he had the support of the elite and he was given the chance uh, to work. This is in Lapis Lazuli. And we've just seen the most wonderful talk by Nusrat Khaja. Thank you so much. I just almost had tears in my eyes as I was watching those images. You know. Because, yes, Musarat does carry something special that, um, that Kudus was talking about earlier, that there is something in the artist who decides to make a home. I mean, her father made that home, coming from Punjab and coming into, into live in Sakhar. And she did made her contribution by working at Jamshuru and by teaching. And her understanding of Sufism, her fluency in Sindhi, and her understanding of literature made her really a citizen of Sindh. And certainly her art speaks of the Matti, or Sindh, and the light, and the Roshni. Um, and so does somebody like Zahur al Akhlaq, who again, like me, was born in Delhi, and you know, brought over as a child and um, lived in Karachi until he came to NCA to study. But his contribution to the city is there. If you have been to the Maritime Museum, you see how uh, Zahur contributes to the, the landscape, the cityscape of Karachi. Or Shahid Sajjad, for that matter, who makes this city his own city, and he is one of the few contributors in the field of sculpture. Yes, he was for Karachi, but he was also the person who did not dare to show his work publicly. He is a person who wanted to park his uh, sculptures in his last years in, with, in a friend's uh, house. The neighbors objected. They said that this will not happen. He had to hide his work. So this is a kind of place where the genius of this kind of genius has been born, two of them, their power has been done in this way, that they have been told that you can't see your work. It can't be bad for any creative person, that if you are a writer, you can't read your work, you can't read your work, you can't read your work, you can't read your work. I still remember um, the first time I heard Abida Parveen, which was way back in 83, and she was a young woman, and she was singing Bullesha, and uh, she was going to sing in Kotiji, she was singing in Khairpur. And they tried to say, Ke bhi aap, nahin, nahin, aap, you know, ye 
and um, so she said mai to kahunga and the 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 i remember the kish, the commissioner uh, told me ke bhai mana kar rahe hain magar sadkon pe buses khadi ho gayi thi log buses ki chhat pe pahunch gaye the so they could hear her voice because it was the voice of sin i'll quickly show the other works I, it's important to show the women um, because we signed the manifesto of the women artists of Pakistan in those Zia years, and they were all women from Karachi. I have to say, who were my best pals. Um, I'm showing this because we had to wait a very long time before we decided to build this mazar. You know, ages and ages, and because nobody, everybody had their own views. So once you have the mazar, and you realize, okay, so the father of nation is buried here, and I love that portrait, which is in this exhibition with those tears coming down his cheeks. Um, so from here, then you have a feeling, okay, so there's this city, the city of Karachi, which is such a contentious, difficult place, but it is a city. It's a big city from which people have come from rural sins to find jobs. People, you've got refugees who have come from Afghanistan. You have people who've come from Balochistan. The world all over Pakistan comes to find work in Karachi. And it's no longer that old Sindhi city, it's something else. And therefore, you make work which comes from this city, in which the nickel wala and the, the you know, Bijli Wala was working with the artists, and these are the artists who made Heart Mahal collaborative work with craftsmen of the city. So David Aylesworth and Durya Kazi and uh, Elizabeth Dadi and uh, Iftikhar Dadi. And Adila has left now, but I think she's an artist who truly represents the city in the new way that you know, she is a child of people who came from across the border, but her roots are now firmly in this soil, which she celebrates. And so there's humor. We aurat ne agar penna hai, you know, helmet penni hai, to gharelu cheeze ho to zyada better hai, kyunki miya to uska helmet laane ni, la ke dega nahi usko. Wo to kya ka betho tum side saddle gir gayi to too bad, you know. So she has to protect herself. And you know, you have Ruhi Ahmed, and this is how an, a single woman who has got a job, mother says, Kibi Subha Ladai ho jayegi, kaise poncho ki, wo apni apna kaam art work jayo, isi tara se banata ta, ye mera naksha hai, ghar se chalungi, kaam pe ponchungi, idar se wapas saungi, aur shaam tak, sahi salamat, apni jo maa hai, jo akeli hai, uske paas mein ponchungi. Um, or you have the you know, humor of Asma Mandrawala, again, child born of Gujarati parents who left that Gujarat behind. Um, and there's a lot of nostalgia to do with films that she saw as a young girl in Karachi. Or Huma Mulji who makes fun of the way that men look at bodies even if they're dolls, you know, um, Barbie dolls go. Uh, I love this work, it's ka naam hai, Yaha Varzish Karna Mana Hai. Or you have Bani Abidi, again, a child of people who came here. And um, she makes fun of these borders. And the fact that that artist is an Indian uh, commentator, bhi hai, news commentator, hai, aur Pakistani. Bhi hai. Aur dono ki kisam ki kar rahe. <laughs> Or you have Muhammad Ali Talpur, who have, whose work is so full of nostalgia. I remember him as a student who first used to make, you know, works that had to do with film posters because he used to make film posters as a young kid. But then it became more and more abstract, more and more internal. And we were talking about, you know, the, inter, the interior. Uh, part of being of Sufism. His work is very much to do with that. Or um, this, this I just like because uh, he's a miniature painter who used to, who made it from on his train tickets, 
वैन बिकॉज यूज टू कव फ्रॉम होम टू एन सी ए उसके बाद बड़ी बड़ी टिकटें जमा हो गई थी तो उसने पेंटिंग्स उसी के ऊपर करनी शुरू कर दी थी ना जस्ट यू नो जस्ट थिंक इस वन सो दीज आर नॉट मैंट टू बी लाइक अ डेफिनेटिव व्यू ऑफ आर्टिस्ट हु वर्क इन सिंध और हु आर फ्राम सिंध बट सिंपली सम ऑफ द सम ऑफ द आइडियाज दैट हैव कम अप ओवर द लास्ट यू नो कपल ऑफ डेकेट्स एंड सर्टनली दिस होल थिंग अबाउट बादशाहत कौन थे बादशाह क्यों थे बादशाह हम पे किस किस ने बादशाहत की और क्या अब भी बादशाह हैं कि नहीं हैं वगैरह वगैरह इस किस्म के जो सवाल हैं जो उठते हैं एंड uh, लेकिन इसके साथ साथ वो वो इस्थेटिक है जो रिल्ली की इस्थेटिक है जो टाइल वर्क की इस्थेटिक है जिसे जब आप दिल खुश करना चाहते हैं तो लौट जाती है उधर भी नज़र और आई एम जस्ट एंडिंग विद दिस वट आई फाइंड अ वेरी अम्यूजिंग वर्क बाय अहमद अली मंगन हार बिकॉज इट इज़ अबाउट द स्कूल स्लेट इट इज़ अबाउट आई मीन ही कम्स केम फ्राम फैमिली कम्स फ्राम फैमिली ऑफ म्यूजिशंस एंड हाउ दे आर लुक डाउन अपॉन यू नो बट आई लव द फैक्ट दैट देर इज द कलोनियल पावर स्टिल सिटिंग ओवर देर मैग्नीफाइंग द साउंड ऑलवेज and we are playing the same song still so on that point i will stop i just want to thank the culture department because i am so grateful for the beginning of today's conversation for so many of of us i think that this conversation was missing and i think that आई थिंक कि जब और कोई बात करने को तैयार नहीं होता तो हमेशा आप सुलह कराने के लिए आप आर्टिस्ट को बुलाते हो आप शायर को बुलाते हो आप मौसीकार को बुलाते हो क्योंकि वो जानते हैं कि दिल की ज़बान यही लोग बोलते हैं और आपने पहले ही कहा कि वाद वाद हल मोहब्बत है नफ़रत